Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to take a quick look at this. So, um, I whipped this up in uh, Tinkercad. What I did is I took um, a uh, keychain camera design uh, from another uh, application that I found on Thingiverse, and I mated this to the um, uh, uh, SEMA camera replacement holder that I came up with at about a 20 degree angle. So what this does is now slides into the, the SEMA, whoops, if I get it in here correctly, slides and locks into the SEMA on the X5. And now I can carry a high def camera on this. Now, the interesting part, if we look at this weight wise, is uh, the existing camera, if we take a look, make sure I get it in here, um, I need to set the weight. So if I put the existing camera on there, this comes in at about five five grams, where this um, camera comes in at about ten grams. So this camera uh, with everything on it is about five grams, a little bit double the weight. So it should have a pretty easy time carrying it. I've actually got this to fly with a run cam, but the run cam was a bit heavier, and that was up around 25 grams. Uh, so this is actually, there's not much difference between these two. Now, one of the things for extra security uh, I've added is a zip strip that comes along the back. I'm not sure if the original designer of this holder intended it or not, uh, but it really works out great to have this... Um, uh, extra hole in the back. Now what happens is even without the zip strip, uh, the designer made this clip on. Uh, I really don't trust this to you know not fall off during flight so I've added the zip strip um, and again that holds it tight. It's a 1080p camera and again slides on to the bottom of the SEMA and should work out pretty good. Now one of the things in the future I may do is actually wire it up into the SEMA for power in that and, and auto uh, record in flight. But for right now, all you do is hit the battery. Now, this camera is upside down, so uh, in post-processing, you'll have to flip the video over, but that's not a major deal. And again, as you can see, I've set this at about a 20-degree angle, so it's as, as it's flying, it's sort of looking down, or down and forward. Um, so in other words, this came out pretty cool. I look forward to flying it when I get some uh, flight time and in some videos. It's a little bit cold here in Michigan right now for flight. That's why I'm doing some of these side projects, getting ready for the flying season. But uh, I'll put this out on Thingiverse. So if you have uh, X5, you know, uh, feel free to go ahead and print it. You do have to print this with supports because of the awkward structure. So you might have to mess around with what supports work best. I use just the basic supports in Cura to print it, and it worked out great. Uh, other than that, I'm very happy with this and again look forward to flying it. So hey, if you found this interesting and you want to see more builds and modifications like this, hey, give it a thumbs up, let me know because uh, again, well, if I flip this around and then I go this way, um, again, the subscribe button is going to be coming up and uh, don't forget, got questions, comment below and hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.